The 2022 Toyota BZ4X is the first global all-electric model from Toyota, which soon will be launched in Japan, Europe, and the US. It's also the first model based on the ETNGA platform. There are two powertrain versions of the car, single motor, front wheel drive, FWD, and dual motor, all wheel drive, AWD, which in the US differs also by the battery pack, 71. 4 kWh FWD or 72. 8 kWh AWD. In Japan and Europe, both versions are equipped with a 71. 4 kWh battery. As it turns out, the two battery packs have a similar battery capacity, but the maximum charging rate is significantly different. The Panasonic, Prime Planet Energy Solutions, 71. 4 kWh battery can charge at up to 150 kW, while CATL 72. 8 kWh battery charges at up to 100 kW. According to the manufacturer, the 71. 4 kWh version is expected to recharge from a low state of charge, SOC, up to 80% SOC in about 30 minutes but there is no such info for the AWD version. See specs. Japan, US, Europe. So now we can take a look and see what to expect. According to the video, charging from basically 0% SOC immediately starts at over 80 kilowatts, and is mostly flat in the first part, at around 86-87 kilowatts, with a peak of 88 kilowatts at 16% SOC. Unfortunately, after 25 minutes the charging level was 50%, and to reach 80% SOC, the car needed 62 minutes. The overall charging speed is disappointing. It's also very disappointing at the end, after 87% SOC power drops below 10 kW, and from 94% SOC it's just 1 kW. Those are levels comparable with slow AC charging, the onboard charger is 6. 6 kilowatts. Results. Start. 0 over 1 of a percent SOC. Right away at 86 kilowatts 6 to 8 percent SOC. 87 kilowatts 16 percent SOC. 88 kilowatts, peak. After about 7 minutes 50 percent SOC. 51 kilowatts after 25 minutes 80 percent SOC. 18 kilowatts after 62 minutes 90 percent SOC. 7 kilowatts after 93 minutes 94% SOC or more. 1 kilowatt end, 99%, 264 minutes, 4. 4 hours, total energy delivered, 61 kilowatt hours and enter. That brings us to a conclusion that the Toyota BZ4X must have some quite significant buffer and very limited available battery capacity. There might be a reason for that. We can only guess that Toyota has a very conservative approach and thus limited the available battery capacity and charging power for safety reasons and longevity. We need to wait for more charging tests of various versions of the Toyota BZ4X, but if there is a big difference between the charging time of the AWD and FWD version, customers might not be as interested in the AWD which gets only slightly more drive power 160 kilowatts versus 150 kilowatts thanks for watching credits to insideevs.com please like my video and subscribe evpedia for more electronic vehicle news and updates